Hello, everyone. I am Jehovah. Welcome to War of Rights. We've been invited to hang out with the First Texas tonight on their Saturday event. So special thanks to the First Texas for allowing me to be here. I sincerely appreciate it, guys. All right, so let's see what we got going on here. Looks like Confederate side, we have 13th Virginia, along with 1st Texas in mass. And on the Union side, we've got the 20th New York, but this is the FUBAR guys, I believe. I think that's what F -R or FA stands for. And a couple 7 Tennessee guys in here. I know those boys as well. Uh, Formless Nuts and his crew. So they've made it into the event, looks like. A couple of them, anyway. So we'll see if uh, any more of, this, of the uh, 7th Tennessee decide to come in tonight. Maybe old Formless himself will pop in. So it should be an excellent battle. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the fun. And we're already on the move. This is your 20th New York. And we're at the Haggardstown Turnpike Battlefield. At least that's what it said. Oh, yeah, here, here they are. You can see your Confederates mustering down on this side over here. This would be your first Texas in mass and your 13th Virginia there as well. So 13th Virginia, that's Captain Cajun. So they're ready to go. They got the stars and bars. And looks like First Texas is in their pajamas tonight. There's Money. Got Saris here. Should be a hell of a battle. And let's see what this uh, 20th New York, the not the UEC 20th New York that we're used to. This is uh, FUBAR, I believe, F.A. There's Hot Cocoa in command. And on this side, we've got 4th New Jersey. And that's your Major Moose. All right, so let's see how these boys attack. This point of contention for the Confederates is right there where they're standing. Oh, it looks like the fence has been knocked down. Look at that. All right, I have not been on this battlefield since the artillery, but it looks like this fence is completely broken down. Now, the Confederates have a lot of artillery typically here. You can see they've got guns right in this area, as well as some forward positions. Yeah, here's some more guns here. But I don't see any um, Confederate artillery people engaged or on those cannons as of yet. Maybe they've decided not to use cannon because... Uh, I don't know that the Union have cannon. If they do, historically, it's going to be way back here up on Matthews Hill. But that's out of bounds in this battle. So historically, um, <clears throat> the Hagerstown Turnpike, what you see here, is the Union came out of the corn. This is Miller's Cornfield here. Early morning hours of the battle. And the Confederates actually came out of the West Woods there and lined up along this fence and fighting amongst the Wisconsin guys and the uh, the Louisiana Tigers here was fierce and the famous uh, photos that you see of the Antietam battlefield with the uh, all the dead Confederate soldiers and the fence line in the background that's this part of the battlefield right here so we'll see if they're gonna start at the 40 mark or if they have a time when they like to start or what's going on here you're all staring at me. This is scary. <laughs> so I don't see anybody moving quite yet. We'll see what they get. I'm kind of blown away with this fence being gone. This is a very strong point of uh, cover. So I guess they've just taken that away. And maybe it's so the guns can shoot through. I'm not really sure. But, uh, yeah, I mean, to, to guard the point of contention, you're not going to have any cover. All right, we got rounds going off. That could just be celebratory. All right, so that signifies the beginning of the battle. You see Cajun and his boys going back toward the back there. 
A Confederate tactic on this battlefield is usually what you're seeing here. They're going to go back behind this fence and get up in behind that hill while the Union rush to get to the hill themselves. And that's what they've done. You can see the Union guys already in this vicinity. Oh, there are their guns. Okay, they do have guns up here. They've got a single gun. Wow. Hmm. Or they've moved it here. No, they got a second gun here. Okay. I see. So the Union does have artillery. Is that Rebels right there? It's fairly exposed. Yeah, that's Rebels. Here they come. And they're wearing pajamas. That looks like First Texas. Indeed it is. And we're just going to fire at them. This is, our, this is our big job, is fucking with them. Oh. If, we go to the top of the, if we go to the top of the hill and then just back a step to reload. Yeah. Well, you well, heard it. They're just right. they're just here to harass these Union guns. Hey. Because they're yeah. going to be coming up the hill uh, to hey. our, our right, right. And here come the leadership. I think he's he's used yeah, to just like like Sergeant Hire. Go back to the line, boys. Hey, go back to the line. Back to the line. Hey, right at the top of that hill. All right. So you see him getting the guns in there. Meanwhile, the rest of the Union has lined up on the fence line. And they're taking the corner. Looks like they're going to defend and just dare the Confederates to uh, top that hill. You can see the massive Confederate force coming through the woods here, the West Woods. First Texas heading this way. They already feel pretty confident in the uh, pre-battle they were fighting against each other, and they didn't think much of the Union artillery. So we'll see how effective these Union guns can be. You see there's Money leaving his boys to the far left. They're right on the flank of these guns already. And the Union is coming up the hill. Here they come. So here's your 7th Tennessee here. And your 20th. Oh, they're pouring fire into the Texas already. Money's boys are going way down here. I didn't think you could go this far. Damn, how, how far can you go on this map now? Jesus, look at this. Now, I don't know if the Confederates can go this far. You can go all the way back to uh, Matthews. Oh, or the, uh, the Miller's farmhouse. And there's more guns back here. Okay. So money and the boys back here in the rocks and in the fence. This is a damn good position right here. And they're giving these guns hell. But they've turned toward them. First shot came in. A couple guys go down, but not a huge slaughter. And here are the rest of your Confederates gathered on the hill. There's Captain Cajun. And the Union, it looks like they've pulled back. They have their mast in the field here. And I don't see any more, so this must be the whole group. And now they're up on the fence. <clears throat> Firing at Money and his boys, but they're kind of far away behind the rocks. So it looks like the Union is... Uh, Firing and then backing up into the corn to reload. They feel really outnumbered here. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. All right, let's see if these Confederates are going to get up on this hill and pour some fire down into them. It just seems like there's an awful lot more Confederates than there are Union. But that's not what the tab says. All right, here they come. Oh, there's Union down there. That's, that's why. We got more guys on the guns. And they got them out here in the rocks. That's what they're aiming for now. So Money and his boys have split off, it looks like. 
They back way up there, man. I can't believe how far you can get on this battlefield now. I don't remember ever being able to come back this far. But they're covering these guns pretty well. There we go. All right, everybody. See all the guys lined up. Yeah, I saw they were all lined up on the uh, straight fence. Well. All right, boys, right shoulder. Confederates do have the hill. Union on the fence line. Are they going to stay there? Or are they going to back up and reload again? Confederate guns could have a really good spot. You can see them spread out. I love how they do this. This is kind of unique against, uh, with these boys. They are spread out on every fence post. Every man has a fence post to hide behind. That is hilarious and I'm sure effective. So very nice formation there by the team. Confederates uh, by the other token are kind of out in the open. They don't have much choice. Oh, and the other Yankees have come up to the fence. Here we go. This is your New Jersey. Nope, 13th Virginia. Oh, that's just got auto. Yeah, so this is your New Jersey boys right here. Fighting in the Brooklyn colors. And they're shooting every time they see a Confederate crest that hill. But not really going to the point of contention yet. Still early in the battle. Do the Confederates even have any gunners? They don't have any guns. Hmm. It seems like uh, maybe that's why I'm seeing more of them in the infantry. Perhaps what that, that's what they're going for, right? A powerful volley coming in. You see the boys from 13th Virginia. Cajun bringing them to the top of the hill, firing and then backing up. Good job, I think this would be a, probably a good time to talk oh, about one of the artillery pieces have been overrun, so that means the Union is in this area. Or no, that was over here. Yeah, this battlefield is still spread out. Looks like money's guys have come down, gotten into those guns, and now they're coming straight down the fence line. See money leading the way. They want to get rid of these guns, and they've done it now. You see the uh, Union flag running for it across the field. And they want him. Here they come. But they're going to run right into a whole mess of Yankees. Although there doesn't seem to be a lot of them left. All right, looks like Cajun's boys are coming straight across. No, that was the uh, that was the New Jersey guys running up into the hill, firing and then falling back. Looks like Money and his guys have been pushed off. You can see everybody spawning back. Union has an advantage on this side of the field for sure. They get to spawn right there. Confederate spawn is way back over there. And, of course, uh, this part of the battlefield historically was a uh, Union victory. At least in so so much as the Confederates were pushed off of the Hagerstown Turnpike back into the West Woods. So the Union looks like they're getting more serious about the point. No, they're still just hanging out here. Moose got his guys there. He's running that way. Matter of fact, it looks like the Major's doing some reconnaissance. And there's a whole lot of Confederates back in the woods. He can see the flag. Yeah, you've seen what I was just about to come back and tell you. Yeah? I think so. Only five. Let the colors to the worst. Hey! So they got guys in the woods. Looks like the Confederates have come up on the hill here. They've taken the rocks. This is your 13th Virginia. 
All right, pull it back, boys. Pull it back. Pull some back. of Cage's boys. So they ran up, take some shots, pull back. Got a lot of Yankees coming up on this fence line now. This looks to be the 20th, and it is. You hear the order to spread out. Every man gets a fence post. You hear the rebel yell. That means uh, the Union is now engaged. So rebels taking their toll early, but they're not giving up on these guns. These Union guys are stubborn over here. And it uh, looks like Money's guys are still up here trying to give them hell. Well, this is actually... Um, I can't read the name. The King Go. <laughs> Company D and Company F, parts of both. So this is Company D spreading out. You see, ooh, a large shell coming in. You can see the 20th coming this way. Going to pour fire on these boys. Oh, you can see it's being effective already. All right, and they're pulling off the fence. Ooh, a large shell coming in. Mosley, man, still standing there. He's like, I don't give a fuck. Oh, <laughs> Of course he can't. So the 20th lined up on the fence line once again. We got Confederates coming this way. But mostly from spawn. Okay, now here they go. Your uh, fourth New Jersey making it to the point here, getting close to it. There's just no cover on the point anymore. This is going to be really interesting. It's got to turn into just a bayonet charge at the end of this thing, right? Called it the Jersey Shuffle. The All right, the Moose leading his men into the cannons. <clears throat> this should give them um, access to the point of contention. We might see that line start turning blue here. But no. That is strange. Don't chase them. Don't chase them. Reloading. Reloading. Reload and fix bayonets. They're going to be coming for us hard. All right, he's right. Here, Here they're come. coming already. Come. You see the bayonet? Get ready. Here they come. This is first Texas. Boys behind us. And we get our first charge here. Now both teams are engaged. Let's see if the Jersey boys can hang on here. A wave of Texas coming right after them. Confederates are doing some work here. Oh, and that's it. So Texas have overrun the Jersey boys. Not by much, but you see the New Jersey flag laying on the field. It's useless as a spawn point when it's laying on the field. That's for damn sure. All right, so that part of the battle... Now we've got more Texas guys coming this way toward the point of contention. They're getting a little bit more serious about the middle. There's money. Are they all dead over there? Looks like all friendly. Okay, perfect. Come with me, guys. Up the fence. Up the fence. Up and over. Hey, money, Taurus is behind you, by the way. Perfect. Sounds good. But he's going back to get in. Uh, money's leading his men into the field. I'm not sure how far the Confederates can go this way. They're in the bushes right there. Uh, money. North yeah, the spawn point yeah, is the bush. There's a. Hey, Mike, do you need anything to tell Sarah before I go? Uh, uh, Sarah's is right here. Oh, is he? Not really. Yeah, that's their whole regiment, money. Okay, I'll, yeah, all right, I'll guys. Right we're not going to worry about them. All right. I'll yeah, we are. All right, we got another Union regiment. Out by those guns. So you see Money getting his guys back on the other side. They're going for the guns. These guys have got a dad boner for these damn artillery pieces. Oh, and here is a large force of the 20th. And Money's bringing his guys in. You see Coco going down. 
Another charge by the first Texas. American flag still standing. Lieutenant Business need to get the hell out of there. Though they're held on. Looks like the 20th has done it. They've pushed off money in the first Texas. They've survived the first wave there. Look, good job, 20th. I'm sure those boys are tired. They ran all the way across the field. All right, here you go. We got some more Texas here on the fence. Yep. Looks like we got. It looks like D got wiped or something. Taurus here. Hold fire, get your loads. Saris as well. Hold fire, they're moving right. Hold fire, hold fire, let them You move. see them moving across the field yeah, through the right. smoke. The Confederates have a hard time seeing Saris. through the smoke right here. They got guys on their already right now. The flag is down over there to the left. Yeah, the flag close to us, north of here. We got a big group in the rock right in front of us. And yeah, pull back now. F pull pull back, pull back. All right, you heard Saris give the command, they're falling back. They want to get out of range of that artillery, I don't blame them. And the 20th also have guys posted up on the fence there as well. So, of course, the Confederates are defending on this map. And that flag is still laying here. Union has not been able to get back to their flag as of yet. But there's not a lot of defenders over here, so they might be able to do it. These are your boys right here. That's their flag laying on the, on the field. New Jersey. Major Moose got his sword out. Let's see what they can see. They might be going for the flag right now. Got a large Confederate force over moving to the Union right. See him there in the distance. So the Moose and Sergeant Noah, looks like they're going for the flag. Here it is. Yeah, they found it. All right, Sergeant, he's got it. So now they're going back, trying to get back to safety. There you go, a couple brave soldiers running across the field to get their spawn point. Back to the guys. <clears throat> Meanwhile, a whole lot of Confederates back over here. And the 20th spread out again on the fence line. See Hot Coco running back and forth behind his boys. And we've got another company of the Texas. Nope, there's your 13th Virginia, Captain Cajun. That's what I'm doing. He's stuck on the goddamn fence. It's starting to scare him. Bayonets on, boys. I was fighting with Here's Company F. F company D. Yeah, but I was fighting with F, and now I'm fighting with D. They're, they're like that area up. How fun was C coming? They're, they're like the enemies are in the corner, right there in that corner. <laughs> they will hit you guys. They're not holding my room. 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 they So the 20th just holding the corn. It's like Master Chef. Is that a Confederate flag laying on the ground? It sure is. So the Confederates have a flag laying on the ground as well. Doesn't help the spawning. You see guys running back and forth up and down this hill. That was mean, We'll see how effective that is. Looks like the uh, Jersey boys are moving to the second set of rocks here. Trying to get in a position behind <clears throat> the Texas. Still see guys streaming from spawn going down that fence line there. And the Jersey guys leaving the 20th to guard the guns over here. Which they are doing. Texas spread out on the fence line. 
They definitely have enough guys if they wanted to make a push, they could do it. But they've tried a couple of those already. And it's easier said than done. Especially how these 20th guys stand behind those fence posts like that. It's hilarious. That's great cover, I'm sure. There's Company D. Got Company C here as well. F. Taurus up here. Oh, a large cannonade coming through. It was enough to get their attention. And they're pulling off the fence okay, line. I couldn't tell um, I got fucking... And the rest of the boys up here. Alright, gents, we're about to be going in. The Yankees are on the fence line. We're gonna get on those those rocks. We're gonna fire a quick ball. When you go up there, you gotta be listening. Because we're gonna fire that body and we're gonna break to the rear. We will not load there. Understand, we will not load there. Here, Cajun giving the commands. And there's Money's boys moving out as well. That's old Money, he's aggressive. You see, they're trying to get to the fence line again. <clears throat> Up and over. He's coming in. Getting on the snake rail fence this is a good position for them. Firing into the flank of the 20th. You can see now the Union is taking losses. Those fence posts are not going to do them a whole lot of good from this position. Let's see if Money and the boys can uh, wreak havoc on the 20th here. The trees are speaking. The trees are speaking. I want all, all people. Shoot them all. They're right in front of us. West, 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 west. If you guys want to the left, left, right. So they do have Confederates in front of them, but the majority of them are on their left flank at this yeah, point. Really it's going to take a while. And you hear it's all leveled out now. Taking losses both sides. 16 minutes to go. See, Hot Coco knows they're over there. And meanwhile, Money's guys just pouring it into them. I see that guy. You yeah, don't worry about him. Please let him think this is fucking Yankee. Company D. Alright, here they come. 20th New York, you heard money. Brace for charge. Oh, a good volley right into the face of the 20th. They've got to come over the fence. It's a large group. Texas does not have a lot of men right here. They're trying to hold their own. Money coming to the fence, trying to stab. He gets shot and killed. Here comes Cajun. Captain Cajun, 13th Virginia, coming to the rescue. Hopping over the fence, counter charge in effect. And they've done it. They've wiped out the 20th. But the... Uh, Jersey boys are all the way back out into those cannons. Spread out on the caissons. And it looks like the battle is about to shift to this side of the field. Small Confederate force here. The king. Did Brian go down? Uh, I'm, sorry, oh, I'm, sure. with, I'm with that. You're with yeah. that. Yeah. Major Ray here. Yeah, I spawned him. Charged out of the corn. Him. Shut Taurus. the flag. Taurus. Taurus. You your guys, uh, no, back, I think right. we held the corn go around him. But I went down. I mean, they're cut off here anyway. We're cross-firing them from our spawn I see D company guys nice. spawning. And, I think and it looks like the Confederates have taken the guns one more time. Look at this. Hey, 
F Company. Double click at him. Wait, no, stay back. Double team him. Double team him. Oh, that works. <laughs> oh, guy. oh, shit, that's a whole ass crew behind us. Get him. All right, you see these guys just coming through, just wiping out Yankees. Trying. Sergeant Higgler here. Well, he was. <laughs> you can see just a hand to hand combat here. Three kills. Oh my god, the stamina. Yeah, See the corporal running between the caissons trying to get away? <laughs> He's still got three guys on him. Run, corporal. Don't look back. Oh, don't stop now. Oh, he's going to run him right into the 20th here. Oh, no. Keep going that way. Don't turn around. He's getting awful stabby. He killed one of them. Oh! Nice kill. Nice. Ah, Bobby G finally got him. But he did it right here in the front of the 20th New York, who's coming across the road. E platoon only. Shoot, shoot, E platoon. That's still there. E platoon charge, E platoon charge, E platoon charge. E platoon, get in there. Chris, come back here. They're not E platoon. Hot Coco and the boys coming straight up. See, Higgler's back. So they've wiped out the remaining Confederates there. And Jersey guys are still in the uh, caissons here. Holding their own. Major Moose. Oh, Flagman is dead. <laughs> Keep cutting them down, boy. I still can't believe they're not getting anything to the point of contention. Oh, excuse me. Being this close. I mean, look, this point is right here. So strange. <clears throat> if they start messing up. So the Yankees are spread out, but it looks like the Texans are finally getting tired of this shit. There you go, they're breaking. Taurus and the boys pouring fire into the New Jersey guys. 11 minutes to go and the Union is breaking. You can see guys just spread out all over this damn battlefield. And not a lot of Jersey guys left. They're getting uh, fire from the guys coming in from spawn here. They got a lot of Confederates over here. <clears throat> oh yeah, money's back. Here he is. They're coming for the Jersey guys. What's left of them? There's not a whole lot left. Okay, all right. We see money and the boys coming this way. Oh, there's a lot more than I thought there were. They were just well hidden, but they're uh, they're getting lost, man. They're trying to get the hell out of here. And they don't have to hop the fence now since Joey the fence is knocked down. You hear the, the command hitting the moving target. They're moving away from them. They knocked a couple of them down for sure. So money very mobile in this battle. Getting to be in the right place at the right time once again. And we've got another company here. Looks like Company F. F Company, pull it back. And still, back, no uh, yeah, point of contention. Go. Is this map going to make you stand directly on this road underneath the, the point? Yeah, no one or nobody wants to be standing there. They may just try to do it on men. The Confederates are taking losses, but the Union is breaking. I don't think we can get out to the rock. see uh, McMuffin there. We can try. Yeah, I th I'm with him. I don't think they can get to those rocks either. Could we not? Oh, I think 
And the Union's moved up. Looks like the 20th has come out of the field. And putting pressure on the Texas. They might just be shooting and falling back. Looks like they are. Texas is moving off. They've fallen back to the corner there in the forest. So they're back into the West Woods. Up oh, here they come out again. You see the boys flooding out of the woods there. Trying to get to the fence line. Let's join them. At your 13th, that is Captain Cajun. So they just came out, did a volley, and they're getting back to the protection of the trees. I'm not really sure how effective those kind of tactics are. I've seen it a lot, but um, I always have a hard time tracking, you know, how many kills they actually get doing that. But it does keep the guys busy and uh, following orders, which is helpful. Man, these 20th guys are impressive how they just instinctively spread out and get behind a post. That's unique. I haven't seen a lot of that before. All right, they see him up at the top of the hill there. So the discipline has to be... See, they're firing at will. The discipline has to be hold for a volley when you see him to volley up, but uh, that's easier said than done. All right, Cajun's guys are coming back out again. Let's see how effective they can be. The 20th is it firing at will. And it looks like Cajun's guys are moving farther down this time. There comes the volley. Oh, most of those shots going high. Oh, the flagman went down at least. Not a lot of other guys going down with it, though. Everybody running to the flag. And, uh, yeah, those Cajun guys, they're staying out here this time. And you hear the huzzah. Both sides are now breaking it. The Union can get now to the point of contention. They can win this battle. What will the Texas do to defend the point? Because the Jersey were out there. Oh, they're back on the caissons again. If the New Jersey guys can move to the point of contention and hold it, they can win this battle right now. But the first Texas is not going to let them do that easily. See the volleys coming in. All right, New Jersey fall in. A lot of those coming in low. There's, there's That hill is deceptive. Up, oh, they're moving off. But they're not moving toward the point of contention, are they? Is Moose going to take a left here? No, he's down. Keep going, keep going, no, keep going, keep going. <clears throat> he's still alive. Keep going, keep going. He's just trying to get his guys to safety here. He's wary of another charge, and he's getting heat from the woods and from the hill there. So he's got to get lost, but... Thinking maybe they'd be going for the point. Doesn't look like the Union's really wanting to get to that point of contention. And maybe it's turned off. Maybe they're just doing it based on kills. That is a possibility because I haven't seen the point move at all. And nobody wants it. So maybe the admins have turned that off and they're just strictly going by kills. They've certainly been doing a lot of that. So it looks like 13th Virginia's up here all by themselves. Trying to hold off the 20th. And they're moving again. Cajun's got them moving back toward the woods. Artillery coming in. Not being super effective yet. You can see more Texas guys moving up on the hill. They're spread out all the way down. And they're on the closest straight fence to us, right? Uh-huh. All right. See We're money. Yeah, money's on the move again. We're crossing the road. Cross the road. Cross the road. Cross the road. Let's cut them off from their spawn. 
All right, 20 is coming across the fence. So they're trying to get behind them. There's still a lot of them at the fence. Turn this way. I don't know if Money's got enough guys to pull this off or not. They're going to try. There's a whole lot of New York over there. And they're up on the hill. They're out by the fence. Oh, here they come. Charge. 20th New York charging. Texas guys know they're outnumbered. They got to get the hell out of there. See them running for it. Oh, but here comes another Texas company coming right in to help. 20th has fallen into a trap. And Money and the boys have turned around. The counter charge. 20th New York ran too far. And now they're running the other way. Hot Coco trying to get his men to safety, but there's a whole lot of Texas coming this way. And a lot of these uh, Louisiana guys have got buck and ball. Private dead running for it. That's a smart move. Because most of the 20th is dead. There's a few of them still fighting for it. Oh, the flag's back. Dead came back. Yeah, there's not much to be there. Oh, they see him now. All right, Jersey's coming in. Here they come. The Moose. Oh, artillery coming in. Almost hitting their own men. The Jersey boys coming in to hit the Texas. Oh, the flag bear is down. Texas stopping to throw some volleys back in. Got the Texas flag over there on the fence as well. In behind the Union. 13th Virginia. There we go. I didn't see those guys. They came in from the back side as well. These teams just ran circles around each other. And you see the American flag sitting there on the fence. Limp and ineffective. And the Confederates have done it. 13th Virginia, 1st Texas has been able to uh, completely destroy the 20th as well as the New Jersey guys. So you see they're falling back now. Yeah, with nobody going for that point of contention, it's got to be turned off. This is just going to be for, uh, for kills, I imagine. And the Texas boys did a lot of killing right there. Uh, Union's got their flag back. Still got Confederates out here giving them hell. There's the final push for the Union. The 20th is back in mass. Here they come. Came in all at once, killed all the Confederates that were standing there. There's just a few Confederates out here. They're running for their lives. 20th on the fence, coming over as well. And they're back in their original position. Texas going back toward the fence. There's Money and his boys. All right. Good work, G. Making daddy care 41 seconds left, so let's see who wins the battle on numbers. Should be the Confederates. Since the Union is in final push, here they come. They see the Confederates behind the fence. Just don't see a lot of Confederates dropping. Hey, I think those rebels are cheating. Last stand for the Confederates now. And it's over. The Confederacy is victorious. So first Texas able to defend the Hagerstown Turnpike with the help of the 13th Virginia as well. Congratulations to those boys. Hope you liked the uh, battle. If you did, hit the like button. Uh, consider subscribing. We do this every uh, weekend. 
and uh, the Texas guys have allowed me to join here lately. Hope we can uh, continue that. Until next time, my name is Jehovah, and I will catch you later. Goodbye. <laughs>